Okay, time to start the experiment. Hello again, here I am, sat in front of my hot water tank once more uh, to tell you about a little experiment I've been running over the last five days or so. Uh, so after the last video where I explained how I managed to reduce the amount of gas we use uh, from about 10 kilowatt hours per day down to 7 kilowatt hours per day for our hot water, it got me wondering how low I could actually push that. Uh, and I realised that I've actually got another way of, of heating the hot water, and that's the immersion heater, just that little thing there. Uh, and I thought, well, okay, if I switch off the gas and instead use the immersion heater to heat our uh, hot water, then that will give me an independent measure of how much energy we actually need to heat the hot water that we use every day. Uh, so that's what I've been doing over the last five days, uh, and I'm going to show you uh, exactly how much energy we've been using, and therefore, at the end of the video, I'll calculate how much that should translate into how much gas we should use. And with any luck, that will give me something that I can then aim for when further reducing the amount of gas that we use, and I'll uh, hopefully explain how I'm going to do that in the next video. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to turn this immersion heater on and we'll see how much power it uses. Just about three kilowatts, which is more or less what I expected. Right, so now I'm sat in my home office uh, doing some work and I'll keep an eye on this. And as soon as the, uh, the wattage drops back to normal, I'll turn the uh, immersion heater off. So two or three minutes ago, the in-house display here went from about three kilowatts back down to a more reasonable sort of 140 odd watts, uh, which is pretty typical for me working at home. Uh, and obviously that means the um, immersion heater has turned itself off um, and the hot water is up to temperature. Uh, so this is a little bit shorter than I would expect it to um, take um, on a normal day because uh, uh, the um, gas was used this morning to heat up the hot water so this isn't probably re representative of a, of a normal day uh, so I'm going to run this experiment again um, over the next two or three days and get a better average with it running just from the immersion heater with no gas at all um, but this is a good place to start and uh, we can do some maths near the end of the uh, video and we'll uh, work out exactly what the average should be Right, we're back. Hope you all enjoyed that. So I've got my notepads, I've got the numbers. I'm, I'm afraid it's time to do a little bit of maths, but bear with me. Uh, I'll try and go through it as quickly as possible. Uh, so first things first, I, I estimate that the immersion heater here, uh, on the label there, it says anywhere between uh, 2.8 and 3 kilowatts. Um, and from the in-house display and from various other calculations I've done, I estimate that it does actually do about 2.9 kilowatts. So we'll use that number for the rest of the uh, calculations here. Uh, so uh, on day two, which is the first of the full days where the immersion heater was running exclusively for hot water with no gas input at all, it ran for 1.57 hours and at 2.9 kilowatts that gives 4.54 uh, kilowatt hours um, of energy used to heat our hot water that day. Uh, day three, 1.68 hours, 2.9 kilowatts uh, equals 4.88 kilowatt hours. Uh, day four, 1.98 uh, hours, so a little bit longer than usual. I think we were doing a little bit of cleaning that day and used a bit more hot water than we would normally do. Uh, multiplied by 2.9 kilowatts gives 5.75 kilowatt hours um, for that day. And finally today, uh, day five, 1.65 hours at 2.9 kilowatts gives 4.79 kilowatt hours. Uh, so if you add all that up and take the average um, of those four days, that gives 4.99 kilowatt hours per day average uh, hot water um, uh, heated by the electric uh, immersion heater. So um, electric heating is 100% efficient, i.e. every uh, joule of uh, energy that goes in through the immersion heater ends up in the water, um, but for a gas boiler the efficiency is more like 90%, uh, so uh, you need to divide by 0.9, uh, so take the uh, 4.99 kilowatt hours used by the immersion heater, divide by 0.9, um, to, which will then give you the equivalent amount of gas that you would need to heat the, to heat the hot water to the same degree. Uh, so if I do that, we end up with a gas equivalent of 5.54 kilowatt hours. 
Okay, so that is my target. Previously in my earlier video, um, I managed to get our hot water usage down to seven kilowatt hours per day. But clearly, if I'm doing everything possible um, to optimize the efficiency of our, of our boiler and all the other stuff, or the, you know, lagging all the pipes and everything else, it should get as low as 5.54 kilowatt hours uh, per day. So clearly there's a little bit more to do, which is great news because it means I can do a little bit more tinkering um, and I can uh, put that in a, uh, another video and hopefully I'll have some more results for you uh, as and when I do that. So uh, yeah, I bet you're really excited to, uh, to see what happens there. So I, I will see you in the next video with hopefully a little bit more uh, advice for how you can further reduce your, your gas usage for your hot water and um, reduce your energy bills a little bit more. And so yeah, again, if you've uh, found this video useful, uh, please uh, you know, subscribe uh, down there and uh, I'll uh, have more useful tips for you uh, coming soon. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.